actively in rebuilding our coveted heritage. I have had comprehensive but meaningful sittings with kings, queens, and heads of states and diplomats to chart the best way forward in mainstreaming cultural virtues in contemporary development programs. We seek to open eyes to the amazing tapestry of history, culture, and the dynamic economics. It's now at this point I want to appreciate our kingdom's governor and more, and more notably the host governor, His Excellency FCPA, Fernandez Baraza, whose six-point development agenda fits well in the cultural uh, mains and veins of our kingdom's aspirations. The will to put in place a robust Department of Culture and Social Services, not an afterthought, printed, primed to please, but to reiterate and emphasize the essence of enculturation, the spine that holds our origin present and future together. This allows the borrowing of leaves of reasons from ancient, uh, medieval, and current eras to respect to the beginning development and uh, resource gener uh, generation uh, questions of time. As delighted I am delighted to reiterate that the new constitution was rec has recognized culture and empowered parliament to enact legislation to ensure that communities receive compensation or royalties for the use of their cultures and cultural heritage. I am well aware that the process ongoing through the moment momentum taken has yet to unearth the clear systems and structures that will benefit the holders of indigenous knowledge. This begs for joint participation of our elders and the parliamentarians, parliamentarians so that the legislation on traditional leadership can be passed by parliament. The legal framework has to emphasize the relevance of traditional cultural institutions and leaders as recognized and integral part of central and national governance. This may be done in accordance with the culture, customs, and traditional wishes and aspirations of the people it applies. A traditional or uh, cultural leader is to enjoy legally guarded privileges and benefits as may be conferred by the central government and counting or as that leader may be entitled to under culture, customs, traditions, which are not inconsistent with the Constitution or this Act or any other law. Construction of monuments does not only convey the sense of cultural restoration for a single community, but does goes be deep to provide tourist attraction, hence a place that serves foreign exchange. Growth of gross dom domestic products is realized in many ways, and traditional students, institutions have a stake in the, in the proceedings. My dear subjects of the Wanga Kingdom continue being ad adherent to the laws of land, continue respecting leaders, complement their efforts, whether directed for a genuine cause. 